Hello to news. Why do your lips separate when you say the word touch, but they touch when you say separate? That's for the audience to answer. Student government elections are approaching, and here's a short clip to get you ready. This just in. The NHS cafeteria will now be selling mini corn dogs with hand sanitizer as the sauce. Not really. But now that we have your attention, student government will soon be having elections for next year. So, if you're interested for being part of a group that leads and represents the student body, consider running for a position. Student government is responsible for many activities at the school. Applications are now available in room 1240 and 1210. Don't forget to apply because the deadline for applications will be May 3rd. Campaigning for officers will take place the week of May 6th with voting at the end of the week on Thursday and Friday. The following week will be the campaigning week for senators. So, if any of this interests you at all, make sure to pick up an application in room 1240 or 1210. Juniors and seniors, prom is just right around the corner. Prom this year will be at the Embassy Suites Conference Center in Noblesville. Tickets are $30 apiece and will be on sale until Wednesday, May 1st in the cafeteria. You must be a junior or senior to purchase a ticket and have your student ID and that of your dates if they attend NHS. If you are planning on bringing a guest from another school, you must have an approval sheet completed before purchasing the ticket. The Noblesville Mayor's Youth Council is now accepting applica applicants from the 2019-2020 school year. NYC shares this perspective on community issues, learns about government, and educates peers on important issues facing Noblesville. The program is open to Noblesville students grades 8 through 12, and the deadline to apply is May 6. For more info, visit www.cityofnoblesville.org. Now tossing it to Allison with Trending Today. A photo of a Bloomington man bowing to a passing funeral procession went viral after being posted on Facebook Tuesday by Joy Wagler, the woman that took the picture, says that not only did he pull over and stop, but he got out of his truck in the rain and put his hat on his chest. Wagler ends the post with, it was a good reminder to me that we should never be too busy that we forget to show compassion and respect for our fellow men. The man's identity remains unknown. Now back to Michaela. If you're interested in peer tutoring next year, listen up. Students who have requested to be a peer tutor for the next year and who have completed the online application can pick up a pass for an upcoming AL meeting in room 2209. There will be two meeting dates, May 9th and May 15th. You must attend one meeting in order to be selected as a peer for next year. National Art Society members, the April meeting has been moved to May 1st at 105. Bring your t-shirts. Now let's pass it to sports. And lunches and fine arts Friday. Hey NHS, welcome to fine arts Friday. Let's kick off with the news, followed by artists. Okay, good luck to the NHS choirs, orchestras, and bands that all have ISMA competitions this weekend. My name is Trevor Zabak and uh, I'm a composer. I started composing when I was probably in, in middle school. Um, I started just composing things for myself to play or others to play, you know, mostly on piano. And then, you know, as time went on, I, I thought, like, this would be really cool if I, if I made it for this person to play, or if I, if I use this instrument, this instrument, like, no one ever does that, that would be really cool to sound together. Um, so just playing with, with different sounds and different techniques with those different instruments and pushing the limits of what people can play is what inspires me to compose. The arts represent um, a culture, it represents a people and a time. So I think what, what's really cool about being a composer is that I have the, the opportunity and the obligation to uh, provide more inspiration, to provide uh, a supplies to a culture and to a time to help give a moment in history um, its own definition. Anna, will you go to prom with me? Have a great weekend at NHS. Yeah. Welcome back. Yes. 
Your Miller softball team is, was unable to put, overcome Cathedral's 3-1 first inning and fall 3-2. Shout out to Ella White for the solo home run and Emily Minette's RBI single. Now, let's toss it to Sebastian with Pro Sports. Welcome to Pro Sports. Okay, so James Harden dropped 26 points and led the Rockets to a 4-1 series win over the Jazz. But the real story is Kevin Durant putting up 45 against the Clippers, and they still lost. The Clippers won 129 to 121 and forced game six. That's it. Make sure to stop by the South Gym this Saturday, April 27th, and watch some swashbuckling fencing from the NHS Fencing Club. It's the last event of the year for the NHS fencers. Competition starts at 11.30 and lasts until late afternoon. Students, bring your ID for free admissions. If you are interested in being a part of NHS's award-winning color guard, here's your chance to join. Tryouts will take place starting on April 30th from 3 to 6 o'clock in the band room. No experience is necessary. Just show up and become a part of the great program. See you later, NHS. Please follow the links below. We are desperate.